Hey guys, Seth Lee here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, I wanted to go over a few different things. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So as you guys know, the Sun Squad Collection event is releasing tomorrow on the 28th. So there are a few different things I wanted to cover before that happens. First off, I wanted to go over this tweet. So Apex Legends tweeted out basically an ad for the new Trouble in Paradise Loba skin that is coming out with the Sun Squad Collection event. They said, it's time for some fun in the sun. Hit the beach on the 28th and pick up Loba's new Trouble in Paradise skin. All this and more lands with the Sun Squad Collection event. Well, Kral Rindo actually tweeted out because he noticed they actually showed off a new Inspect animation with this little ad. He said, Respawn is teasing more Inspect animations, hoping we can see them in this update. So that is actually a new animation or at least a different animation to the alternator that we don't have in the game right now. I think that would be cool if they added in new Inspect animations so you could actually see a bit more of each weapon skin. But as of right now we don't know if this is for sure coming because somebody actually replied to Kral Rindo's tweet talking about how they were teasing it saying this one in particular they have shown like five times but still haven't released so it is up in the air as to if they are going to release this new inspect animation but I think it would definitely not be a bad thing at all. Also another thing that Kral Rindo tweeted out noticing something about this new Sun Squad collection event and more specifically about the Loba swimsuit skin he tweeted out saying new Loba skin has some interesting rig issues that make her look like she has no shoulder bones and as you guys can see, it does look a bit odd and just clearly something is wrong if you look at it. So hopefully they will make a fix for that skin by the release tomorrow on the 28th. Lastly, I wanted to go over something else that Kral Rindo tweeted out that I hadn't thought about in a very long time. He tweeted out, my love Respawn speaking for this community. Please add Olympus After Dark into custom matches. It would be so fun to play hide and seek and other things on that map. God, it was so beautiful. I feel like using it for Halloween only was a huge waste. Just let us play. And I have to agree that was an amazing map that definitely should be used for other things and not just have been used for that Halloween. But in reality, all I really want is Olympus, the normal map, to actually come back since it has been gone for so long now. I really hope it will come back at the second half of the split for this season, but we'll just have to wait for now. Next, I wanted to go over this Reddit post that got 800 upvotes in eight hours, and it says, is Respawn going to address these bots eventually? It can't be that hard to filter out and ban these accounts. And as you guys can see, this person is playing TDM, but their teammates are just bots and they are standing in the corner. So I definitely think this is a problem that Respawn need to address and figure out a way to prevent these bots from being able to join games and just waste space in the lobby. So I definitely think that is something that they need to focus on. Next, I wanted to go over something that got quite a few upvotes on Reddit and it is specifically about events. And with all of these collection events that have been releasing in season 16, I think this is something that should be a topic of discussion because we have had so many events. Well, this person made a post saying would be better if we can actually choose choose which pack to open first. I think this is a good change if Respawn wants to tweak this, and I have to agree. As you guys can see, if you have 33 or if you have any normal packs, but you also have event packs, you have to open up the event packs first to be able to get to the normal packs. And I have to think that there is no reason for it not to be an option to be able to choose which pack you want to specifically open, because maybe some people want to save their event packs before and open up their normal packs. I think this is something that they need to add, especially since so many events have been releasing, and I don't don't see why they wouldn't add this option to choose which pack you want to open. Next, I wanted to go over this Reddit post that is just pointing out what the community is really feeling right now because it got 2.6 thousand upvotes in less than three days. And it says one year later, it's still missing. Skins are important, I guess. And it is a picture of the EA page saying coming in future updates, 120 hertz gameplay for PS5 and Xbox Series X. Well, obviously it has been over a year since they announced this as coming in a future update and they still have not added it so clearly the community is letting respawn know that we're almost out of our patience and we really want that to be added into the game and they need to do it as soon as possible and the top reply to this reddit post shows another sentiment that the apex community is feeling because the top reply to this reddit post says can we just get cross progression i want my heirlooms from console days gosh dang it and i have to agree this is clearly the two main things that respawn needs to focus on for apex legends 120 hertz gameplay for ps5 and xbox series x as well as cross progression and the community will not stop talking about those features until we get them. Lastly, I wanted to go over this Reddit post that had a cool concept and it got 2.5 thousand upvotes in six days. So I think this actually got a good reception from the community. It's non-evo perk shields, a concept or idea for different types of non-evo shields, each with its own unique perks that can shake up the gameplay. First off, there's a concept for a green shield and you would have two shield bars, but it would decrease reload time of weapons by 10% 
100% and reduce weapon ADS time. That would definitely be something people might choose over other specific shields. Another one is the pink shield, which would have three shield bars and it would evolve your helmet, knockdown shield and backpack to the next tier after dealing a certain amount of damage to enemies. So it's kind of like an Evo shield, but it affects all of your other items instead of the shield itself, which I think would be a cool idea. And lastly, a concept called the black shield with four shield bars. It would make it so you would take 15% less damage from ordinance, as well as you would be immune against ordinance sticks, including the arc star and the knuckle cluster. And I have to agree, this would be a really cool one. It would kind of make you a bit more of a tank because you wouldn't have to avoid nades nearly as much. So I think those are really cool concept ideas. Make sure to let me know down in the comment section below which ideas you like the best. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. It is the best way to support me and it's completely free. But it's been your boy, Seth Lee, and I'm out.